Hey everybody, Nathan Nile here, and if you stumbled upon this video by accident, I am reviewing the entire Land Before Time video series. And so I've got it all on the playlist if you want to check some of the others out. This one is specifically for Land Before Time number 7, The Stone of Cold Fire. And this one is honestly my absolute favorite. This is the only one that I would say is better than the original. And that's just because I have a deep connection with it. It came out when I was about 10 or 11, I think, uh, right around then, 2000, 2001. And I think this is one of the Thomas Decker ones. I don't know if you realize this, but Tommy, Thomas Decker, for those of you who do know who he is, he played John Connor on the Sarah Connor Chronicles, the Terminator TV show. He was in a bunch of these Land Before Time movies. I think it might have been like 6 through 8 or 7 through 9 or something, but... Yeah, so he was on some of these. If, if that if that makes you want to wa watch them more, or if it makes you want to like, watch them less, I don't know. Uh, it depends on how you feel about Thomas Decker. But, so anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, this movie is so drastically different from the rest of the ones in the series. For one thing, there's no sharp tooth in here. And usually, it's a, the sharp teeth are the absolute villains of the series. There's not, there's not a single one in here. Uh, the villain is actually Petrie's uncle, Toronto, who is visiting the Great Valley with the Wandering Herd. And the story is about, you know, one night, Littlefoot is awake. He wakes up in the middle of the night, and he sees a basically a, a, a shooting star. And he's like... <gasps> And he's like, it, but it was cold, and it was blue, not red like the others, and everyone won't believe him. No one wants to believe him, but then suddenly, you've got these two rainbow-faced dinosaurs, which just show up, and they're like, hey, it could be something's magical. And Littlefoot, and he, Tyranno, he decides, if it is magic, I can use it to, you know, rule the world. And then Littlefoot and his friends are like, well, we gotta stop him. And so they go chasing after him. And so it's a very, it's an interesting story. It's drastically different from what you see in so many of the other ones. So it really stands out. And also, I just really love the music. Beyond the Mysterious Beyond is definitely my very, very favorite song in the entire Land Before Time series. You know, it's because it's about just being able to keep your mind open to all the possibilities that are out there. You know, it's like. Is, are there really no mysteries left for you in the world? Have you really seen all that there is to see? Don't you ever wonder what's out there? Beyond the mysterious beyond. Out past the smallest light that twinkling. You cannot even have an inkling of what is going on. I could sing the entire song. I have it memorized. I watched, this is the one I watched most out of anything. I'm not going to subject you to that, but I will subject you to another verse. If stars can fall, and rocks can fly, and mountains catch on fire, we can set our sights beyond the stars, or maybe even higher, beyond, beyond the mysterious beyond, trust in your own imagination, you are a part of the creation of all that lies beyond the mysterious beyond. Beyond. Okay, so now that that's over, I promise no more singing, but I do love a lot of the songs in here. Like, there's another song about, uh, I can't remember what the title is, but... It's a song about the fact that everyone's got darkness and light in them. Everybody has a little bit of good inside, and everyone has a little bit of evil. The greatest villain you can meet still has some good things inside of them, and the, the best person you can meet might have a little evil inside them. And sometimes you just you make the wrong choices, and that's a really good lesson to know in life. And so, yeah, it's a great, it's a great story with... It, it teaches the value of friendship, and it's it's a great so it's a just it's really it's the most fun one for me to watch like it may not necessarily have the best story and, and you might not love the music as much as I do but for me personally this is the one that I enjoy watching the most <coughs> this is the one that I have no problem at any point in time just 
pop it right in there and just sit there watching it. It's, you know, it's just a, it's a really fun movie that I can't get enough of.